been doing a lot of uh, individual one-on-one -on -one MTurk tutoring lessons with people lately and I thought I'd make this video to kind of bring it to a larger audience. But before we get started, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, it shows that you're interested in making money through the platform and that's what we're all about. Many of the other video channels out there on this topic are created by folks that have worked on the platform for a very short time. Taking advice from a person with less than a thousand hits completed or who tried MTurk for 30 days is a really bad idea. So consider the source from which you're getting your advice. I've personally been working the Mechanical Turk platform for about six years now and many of my forum members go all the way back to 2005. I've completed many tens of thousands of hits and would certainly be over a hundred thousand hits by now except that I shifted gears in 2018 to start the MTurk Worker Forum Our Hit Stop and to build tools for MTurk workers to increase their productivity and earnings. This does keep me pretty busy, but I still complete an average of 250 hits a week to stay up to date with the platform, the requesters, and the technology. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel as we have many more videos and they are all about Mechanical Turk and how to increase your income through the platform. So what we're going to talk about today is your workflow and actually how you Turk and the best way to make more money on the platform. Uh, what we're looking at right here is a listing from Mechanical Turk itself of the available hits. If you are doing your work by coming to the page like this and just manually accepting uh, work and doing hits like this, you are doing this in the most basic uh, manner that will basically guarantee that you are never going to make the goal of the amount of money that you want to get out of this. This is a very wrong way of going about it. So let's find some better ways for you to do your work. So the first thing that I'd like for you to do is go ahead and get uh, three applications here. Uh, Tamper Monkey, Hit Forker, and Panda Crazy Max. Now there is a specific order that I want you to open up these applications on your computer. Uh, Tamper Monkey is just the receptacle that you are using to hold uh, Hit Forker within, so you don't actually have to open anything with that once you get that installed. But what I want you to do is to have your Mechanical Turk uh, open in a tab, like here, like I do in here. Then you will go to and open an, a new tab, and I want you then to go over here to PC Max and click that and hit start panda crazy and that'll open up a third tab and open up panda crazy then go back to your other open tab that doesn't have anything in it yet and open up uh, hit forker in that tab okay and when you come up with a hit it doesn't really matter if you want the hit or not but we're just accomplishing a goal right now is to get Panda Crazy Max and Hit Forker to sync up with each other. So we'll hit an O over here and create a panda for this one. And it may or may not catch it. And we'll go back over here to Panda Crazy Max and yes it did catch it. That's fine. So now what we want to do is we want I want you to uh, bring this window down and pull Panda Crazy Max out of that window into its own window and then make it as small as you can like what I've done right here. Now your page needs to look exactly like mine does right now. Now what you will then be doing is you will be watching Hit Forker, the new hits that are generated. 
when you see one that looks like you want to try and catch that one you will hit the O key for a, to make a once panda unless it's a batch but that's a separate issue so right now we'll just do that and we will hit one like this one right here if we wanted this one we would hit the one and it will create a panda over here okay so it created one and I caught it now those that you catch will show up down here in your Q watch now from here you can work the hits by hitting continue work or you can return them if you hit continue work it'll bring up a hit like this and you will then work that hit okay if you want to return it which is what I'll do with these I will just return those and confirm return confirm now we want to set the settings on both of these to something that we can handle to change the settings on hit forker you will go to show configuration set your search delay to either four or five seconds whatever you prefer on that your minimum reward I would set that higher than 20 cents I usually would set it at least 40 cents maybe more depending on how the day of the day goes that's your own personal preference and you want to hide the block list and you want to check under qualified so that it only shows hits that you are qualified to do on the list then we'll hide that you can go to advanced settings if you want and change your colors and background and all that on here minor I've changed them to dark mode then you're going to go back over here to Panda Crazy Max. Now you will want to change your timer settings to run on timer number two, which is a little bit slower of a speed to keep you from getting page request errors. Then you will just sit here and you will keep an eye on Hit Forker. And anytime something comes up you think you may be interested in, hit that O button and then create a panda for you try to catch the hit it caught that one again now you don't want to actively run more than six pandas at the same time because if you run more than that it will slow the cycle down so much that you won't really be effective so you'll watch this and as your hit count or as the count goes up not the hit count but as the count goes up for how many times it searches for a hit then when it gets to about 500 you want to go ahead and just remove it by clicking the X and that'll delete that job and don't keep more than about six of these running simultaneously uh, and of course this one's been caught so it's not running anymore so that wouldn't actually count now that is the way that you can do a lot better than the manual fashion that we were looking at just a few minutes ago uh, to do beyond that uh, to keep you from having to literally stare at hit forker and panda crazy all day long you need another application like our our application auto the major drawback of working like this is that you have to sit and watch hit forker all the time and while you're working a hit, you can't be watching Hit Forker. But with Auto, Auto keeps watching and catching hits for you while you're doing other things. You can be working on a hit. You can be making a sandwich. You can be going to the bathroom. You can be tending to anything you want to. And Auto, as long as it's on, is searching for and catching hits for you and here is a little bit about how auto works there are two versions currently of auto auto light and auto heavy uh, both of these applications are only available to members of the worker forum our hit stop so if you're interested in using auto the very first thing you need to do is go to our hit stop and join the forum then you can upgrade your membership there to either Auto Light or Auto Heavy. Auto Light looks exactly like this. A little drop down box comes up. 
you enter the search rate you want, that is how many seconds you want between one search and the next, the amount of, of a hit that you're looking for, which in this case will be 10 cents or greater. You will click that you want only hits that you are qualified for, and if you wanted master's level hits included, you would click this button as well. You'll hit the start, and what will happen is auto will try and catch hits for you. Now in this case, the hits it catches will appear down here in the Panda Crazy Max Q Watch, also in a little box here under auto. But when you move around, this auto box will not stay here, it will be in the background. So I will click that and show you how that works. You'll notice after I click this button, I no longer need to watch Hit Forker for anything. I just begin catching hit. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and return these and then I will show you a little about Auto Heavy. Auto Heavy is a little different in that Auto Heavy is a full page interface once you click on this little icon here. You have the same settings. You also have settings that for what you want to accept. PRE settings which includes PRE braking, block list capabilities, filter by Turk Opticon rating and by approval rating. Uh, it is a much more versatile application than Auto Light. Not to mention that you can do your work straight from this Auto page. And I'll set this back down the same amount I had. And click Save. I'll click Start. And it will begin catching hits. Now this looks similar to a regular scraper in that these are the logged hits. And those that are actually caught for you to work on are here in this dark area, which you will either continue to work on them or you can return. If you want to return everything in your queue, you can hit return all and it will get rid of all of them for you. When you want to work one of these hits, you'll just hit continue and it will open that hit and you will start working on it. Now, auto works for you every second that it is turned on. It is working for you. It's working for you while you're working on other hits. It's working for you all the time. So you literally set it to your preferences, turn it on, and the hits form into your queue. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to increase your hits that you work on beyond this to the very maximum that you can get, then you need to do a combination of the two where you would set auto like you would want it, turn it on, and then go back to Hit Forker. Watch the hits here because you can set up then hit forker to a slightly different configuration where it's searching for hits that might be below the auto threshold that you have set and you can catch those by using the once panda as well then so if you were to do that you would be catching the maximum amount of hits that you could possibly do while you are working on mechanical turk now you won't want to do this all the time because that is fairly hectic and time consuming to do. Most of our users turn on auto and let auto catch the hits for them. This does not violate any of Amazon's rules or regulations because it does not attempt to complete any hits for you. It only finds the hits just like Hitforker does and then catches the hits 
just like Panda Crazy does. It just combines those two features. So if you are interested in trying out auto, you need to come and become a member at our hit stop and then send me an email about it at admin at ourhitstop.com and I'll be glad to go through this with you. Uh, turking like this and using auto has increased the MTurk incomes of many countless numbers of MTurk workers. Please come to the forums, talk to our members, ask them what auto's done for them. It makes all the difference in the world. It's not just an increase in income, but it is a fundamental change in how you work. It takes the drudgery out of it of searching for hits. It's literally more work, less waiting. If this video has been of help to you, please be sure to click subscribe and to check out our other videos on YouTube. If you'd like to increase the amount of income you're making on Mechanical Turk, one of the best ways is to become a member of an online worker group. There are several of these groups on the internet, but of course I recommend ours at ourhitstop.com. We aren't called the friendliest MTurk worker board on the web for nothing. Membership is free, so stop by and learn from hundreds of experienced Turkers. I can't guarantee how much, but I can guarantee that you'll learn how to make more money by being a part of our group. We also have some exclusive tools that you won't find anywhere else that can dramatically increase your earnings now.